Singapore is experiencing some of the worst hazy conditions ever, accompanied by serious effects of air pollution. With the PSI, or Pollutant Standards Index, well exceeding 300, the pollutants in the air are at a whole new hazardous level. What causes air pollution? Our current environmental control woes are due to out-of-control burning of vegetation in the region and the direction in which the monsoon winds are currently blowing. Under present conditions, we can barely see the house next door, let alone our hands in front of our faces. So, in the face of such hazardous conditions, what do we do to stay healthy? Keep watching for quick tips to stay safe, healthy, and fight the effects of the haze. Hi, I'm Manoj. With the ongoing worsening of air pollution in the region, we have to look for ways to safeguard our health. So, if you must go out, wear a face mask like the N95, which keeps out 95% of the particles in the air. Wearing a mask may not be comfortable, but it's better than getting those haze particles into your lungs. Hydrate constantly with water. Drink at least two liters of preferably filtered water. It will be a good idea at this time to limit the drinking of coffee, alcohol and sweetened drinks as these are dehydrating. Stay away from cigarette smokers. There's enough smoke out there. It's not necessary to exacerbate the problem. If you are a smoker yourself, you know what to do. Quit. But then again, that's your choice. While indoors, shut all doors and windows and stay in an air-conditioned room. Using indoor fans should be fine, but those that draw in outdoor air for cooling should not be used. You're only bringing the outside in. If you go out, wash up when you get in. You may not realize it, but the fine haze particles cling to your hair, your clothes, and clog up the pores in your skin. This could lead to rashes, skin irritations, and pimples. Moisturize well to soothe skin irritations, especially if you have eczema. The ash particles in the haze, when exposed to the sun's UV rays, become free radicals. Free radicals are highly charged oxygen molecules that have a toxic effect on us. Diet is a good way to fight the negative effects of free radicals on our health. It is essential to eat foods which are rich in antioxidants. Outdoor activities should be limited at this time. Bear in mind that when inhaled, the fine haze particles cause tissue damage and inflammation of our respiratory system. In times like this, it would be best for those with asthma and respiratory problems caused by air pollution to stay indoors as much as possible. This holds true for the very old and the very young as well. Extra precautions should be taken by those with heart disease as there is growing evidence that severe air pollution can trigger heart attacks and deaths. If you're not among those just mentioned and staying indoors is driving you nuts then limit outdoor activities like swimming, basketball, football, jogging and such to an hour at the most. Physically strenuous outdoor activities mean our lungs are taking in 10 to 20 percent more air than usual. That translates into an increase of 10 to 20 percent more toxins taken in by our body. Do note that for most people this does not have long-term negative effects. Using eye drops and gargling with salt may soothe irritations. Yoga and Pilates are great indoor exercise options and some of the breathing techniques in yoga actually help expel toxins from our lungs. If you have pets which are usually kept outdoors, please bring them in as they are affected by the pollutants in the air. Similarly, Keep them well hydrated and in a cool place indoors. 
Prior to this recording, the PSI crossed 400. We've crossed from over hazardous to like what my son says, the mutant range. I hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, do share it with your family and friends. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be coming up with more videos, so do look out for these in the coming weeks. Take care and bye.